five past seven. Okay, the meeting is open. It is 7.05. It is May 21st. And uh, let's uh, stay who's present. Mark Sotir. Sandra Simon. Rick Dickin. Rick Matt. Scott Clavin. Paul Gluck. Okay. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Okay. Our first order of business is uh, going around the Certificate of Compliance for 217 Wampatuck for signatures. I think most of us have already uh, got there, but if you haven't, Please take care of that, and then also, uh, has everybody seen the the, um, the minutes for the seventh? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I'll make a motion right. to accept the minute meetings from May seventh. Second. Okay. A motion has been made and seconded to accept the minutes for May seventh. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Uh, I'd like to go back to the ticket points. Okay. We need to vote that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, that, uh, so the minutes are accepted. I uh, apologize. Uh, so for the certificate of compliance block. I move that we issue a certificate of compliance for 217 Wampatuck Street uh, with the stipulation checked off or never decided. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded for uh, accepting the certificate of compliance for 217 Wampatuck. Any discussion on that motion? What was 217 Washington? Um, Washington, uh, Wampatuck? What is that? It, it, it says that it wasn't the project was not started. Whatever we issued it for, it wasn't started. Okay. Was on the time frame? Anytime. Yeah. They, people just want it off there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. People right. said they whatever it was, I, they were going to do what they don't want to do. I wasn't present, so. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, motion passes to accept. That signature, the uh, one. All right. Uh, do you want to continue that discussion on the uh, on the fish uh, in the furnace part? What, what I want is, yeah. I don't know what happened, but I think they are at least let somebody know when that's going to happen because we would look Especially awfully bad year. if somebody had called us and said, "What's going on?" You know. Absolutely. Oh, I don't know. The boats are out there fishing, but I don't know. Yeah, electrolysis. Yeah. You don't know who they are, and they yeah. could be anywhere. Oh, to me, the boat should also be mine. Well, it should have had registration. No, but yeah, it should, it should have like a, right uh, with a state the, seal or you, whatever it is. Yeah, on it. And, it's their name. and it very well could have. You just didn't right. recognize right. it was my yeah. So we will look into that one. Um, and, I think and is that, study, so that's that the jurisdiction do. of Herring and Fisheries? Is that uh, uh, that would be Herring Fisheries, but Fisheries, yes. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily Herring Fisheries, except for it would translate to what the Herring are absorbing and what's in their food chain. Um, so I am for any work that they do, as long as they would like let us know. It would be nice if you got to do a little skit with them and film it and made it news and yeah. let everybody know yeah, what's yeah, going on. It would be a on. nice thing to have got on. And, and to let yeah. everybody know that you know, they're not some crackpots out there. This is what they're doing and they're getting paid to find out what's going on. All that is good publicity whenever somebody, they're doing something like that. Yeah, positive because mm -hmm. they're, they're doing positive, positive work. And hopefully the heavy metals are going down in counts as we somehow move into a different time frame in the pond. Has there been a baseline established for them in the past? Uh, basically, I think when I remember back 30 years ago, they did an extensive survey of the hydraulics of the pond and sediments. And the hydraulics were an extensive study, uh, very high-tech equipment, 55-gallon <coughs> drum cut off two feet long with a hose on it with a bag with one liter of water in it, sucked down in the mud, and as the water comes up, it collects in the bag, they take the bag off, and high-tech stuff, measure it and count whatever's in there. For not just water, but the quality of the water yeah. that's coming up through, and then they take sediment samples you know, around that to see how much of it's going into the water column and how much water's coming out of where in the bottom. And yeah. A lot of water studying on Probably had like over 100 barrels in there all over the pond. Yeah. So that's a good baseline. I don't know, you have to look up the years. But they basically said if you are pregnant, eat no fish. If you're not pregnant, eat one six ounce serving per week, and it is discouraged, not encouraged, to eat fish. So hopefully that's going to change. Because that's what it was. So, you know, I was looked that up in the people of the Mariner had that report on that one. But, uh, they were a bunch of uh, 
you know, professors with college kids yeah. doing their work, and it was amazing how simple what they were doing was, and what they gained for results was baseline, like you said. Okay. So should we send a, a, a note to fisheries, just that this is going on, and for them to contact the state? Yeah. For them to right. allow us to know in advance, yeah. I think communication is the, the rule of thumb. I think just would the note be pond. going to uh, Amarillo or well, what, to you or else? Rachel call tomorrow? Or something like that. I, just I think it it's, it, this is um, basically the ponds are, I don't know what the land is. Is the land conservation under the ponds or what is that? Well, like, that's what I'm trying to I'm figure trying out. To figure it, out. Whose think, jurisdiction is it? Well, I think it's you know, double jurisdiction is what I'm trying to say. I think obviously town, it's town or, town, I would say it's town owned, owned property. property because it's a, the lake is less than was with the state. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so the, the town, the town would be the, the state owns the water. We own the mud. Yeah. <laughs> and all that's in it. And Brockton takes it. So oh. don't get me started. Don't get on that. Uh, so would, would it be proper for Rachel to uh, yeah. contact them then? Yeah. Okay. The okay. Fisheries. Yeah. yeah. I think we should. Well, not the herring herring fisheries. Herring fisheries. I think no. Rachel herring herring fisheries. I think okay. is a good time. And, and sure. I think both teams should um, address the issue of them. So it's it's a. It shows solidarity, and we should all know. Yeah, both right. as the conservation and fishers should know. I think it's a, at least a, as a courtesy, you know, with and knowledge and share yeah. the knowledge. Yeah, uh, maybe inspire kids to go to school for it and become, you know, future workers for it. Herring Run Park. So this is so nobody's going to show for that because no. it's an after no, 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 no. So let me just read it. Uh, so 710 um, request um, for determination of applicability for Herring Run Park, uh, and this was supposed to be uh, an Ed Thorne thing. Yeah. That's uh, again, it's an after the fact. So Bob, you can explain that away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I move that we uh, issue a determination, a negative three determination for work at Herring Run Park. This was to take and remove the trees and clean up the mess after the storm. It's an after the fact, but we need to have the paperwork on the file. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded um, to issue the RDA for a negative three for the uh, Herman Run Park, the work that's already been completed. Any discussion on the motion? So we need to vote to close yeah, the motion. Sure. Yeah. All those in favor of closing discussion? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, uh, all those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, so motion passes. Um, 95 Glen was a, is another after the fact, so mm -hmm. it's scheduled for 720. Nobody's going to show for that. Can we? Yeah. Can we, we can, I can't see why we, we can't do we it. We can huh? get that done, right? Because nobody's coming for that. Basically, the same motion. We move it, we issue it. Negative three. The work already done, at, uh, planting of the trees and, and so forth. And thank the people that did the tree planting. Okay. Except, I think. What I'd like to say there, maybe, uh, well, let me just get it on the record first. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, request for determination of applicability uh, for um, 95 Glenwood Road and uh, Edgerton and Madden around named on that. Um, so, um, you have discussion on that. That's the well, that was well, the tree plan. I, I just wanted to just for an FYI, right. that port and party. Cost us two hundred and fifty dollars for one I, day. I could have got it for one hundred and fifty. I had it locked in. One hundred and fifty no, for they, two days. When we and called about it, they said it's because it was handicap accessible. I, I had it had it. to be. A, all right, whatever it was, it is. Just so, it just so we write it in on yeah. our minds but when we do next these things. I again. would suggest we don't just pull it out of the hat that we actually do the homework. And I had Sunshine um, Sunrise Farm. They have a, a poly porta potty thing. It was a free pumping, two days, 150, handicap accessible. Just so you know. I, just, I mean, I, I just want everyone to know what it is. Because a lot of times those things get yep. tucked away and nobody realizes what it costs. Yep. Or yeah. Something like that. I think it should be realized before we pay the bill and, and do the deal. That's all. Yeah, I think we should, you know, in hindsight, we shouldn't have just approved it without knowing how much it was going to cost, right? We should have got an estimate or something because already we had one, had it settled, yeah. I had to cancel it for 152 days, free pumping. Well, so why did you cancel that and we got because through it? Yeah, we moved to. I didn't, I mean, I, we, told, we, we told arranged it so we had it done, so I had to cancel it because you can't have two people showing up and building a double. Well, right, so why didn't, 
I asked you if you talk were, how much you. it was, you said no. We all so learn. We, always we all learn this. lessons. Yeah, right. as we go forward. Yeah, exactly. It's water under the bridge, but in hindsight, right. you know, let's make sure. Yeah, you know, but we did. Rachel did right call right. about it, but we questioned it, right. and that right. was the reason because there was other people we asked were saying 100, 120 is what they were paying for per day for, for regular right. watch yeah. per day with, with yeah. no free yeah. pump. I got a free pump in the two day for 150. Well, I hope this was free pump. I mean, I hope we haven't got another bill well, coming in. You know, the, the bill that I saw, it, it looked like it was a delivery bill. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm worried about. So right? that's, that's, that's what was kind well, of it's, pending it's, two it weeks ago. It should all be inclusive. It, it didn't it state it on the bill. It just said delivery delivery yeah, of one. Delivery of one. It didn't say anything about pickup or rental. It just said delivery. They got a free huh. folding chair when they took it, so okay. they take it off the bill if it's all right. So uh, let's... Uh, I'll make, a, I'll make a uh, motion to quick. close. Oops. Oh, I'll take that back. I want to read that one quick. It was one of the people that uh, showed up to plant trees. and uh, We ran out of trees in about an hour and a half each day. I want to thank the Conservation Commission for sponsoring the tree planting on windswept bogs. I had my boots ready to plant a lot of trees, but there weren't enough available. I got to plant three or four trees. I wish I could have planted 50. I would do this again to help the environment, but I want to be allowed to plant more than three or four trees. Train like on the trees. <laughs> April, I can't see the last name, but April. But, uh, it, we ended up planting 250 trees in about an hour and 45 minutes. And ran out. Okay. And then the next day it rained beautifully. Oh, and perfect. it stopped raining for the planting, and then it rained afterwards. Right. And uh, we have red winged blackbirds already nesting in groups of the cedars there. A bunch of them, they're all living in the okay. cedars with eggs and nests and all that's really nice. Great, great. Okay. All right, then again, now I will make a motion to close 95 Glenwood Road. Okay, a motion has been made to close. Second. Okay. I have to change the motion. Issue a negative three. They make the oh, I thought we closed. I thought we yeah. 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 Close, close first so and then we issue? Yeah. 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 All right. So all those in favor of closing? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, we close. Okay, now you can make your motion. Okay, I'll make a motion to um, negative do a negative three, three determination. Yeah. Okay, an issue. I'll second uh, that. Excuse me. A motion has been made and seconded to issue a negative three uh, for this 95 Glenwood. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, motion passes. Our next hearing is until 7.30. Uh, I just, if, if someone's interested, we did have a site walk at Old Chipko today with the DEP for what it was worth. I mean, uh, it appears that the people, the Smith group, are pulling out of the whole project. Really? No way. Well, yeah, he's got a lot of money in and it doesn't look good because the Fed people have been down there and are trying to put the area under federal control, water quality control and all, and DEP doesn't want to touch it, and yeah, and yeah, it's just... What, is some cattails growing there or something? Huh? What, the cattails growing there or something? Not that I've seen. Yeah. I, I, I didn't see this cat, it. It's cattail because it's a hollow and it's yeah, raining I mean, and filled with water and... So you, it didn't yeah. spill into the wetlands the basic, by design. The basic thing is nobody in authority wants to listen to why it is what it is or how it got there. All they want to do is look at it. Yep, there's a hole there, there's water in the hole, there's cattail and other wildlife. And oh, look at it, it's spreading out here. Right, it's spreading everywhere because well, all there is is old wood chips and right. ground about, up wood that fits to grow on. What about the ones growing on the side of the road in the puddle yeah. by the bus lot? Well, we had <laughs> today is a cement platform where. There's a cement platform where the old grinder sat, and there's yep. a few hollows, and it's got, and right on the cement they're growing too. But I mean, uh, yes. that's, that didn't seem yeah, to want, is. they didn't want to know anything about any of those things. I think somebody got to somebody. Probably the, the neighbor. I don't think oh, well, I know, yeah, most, but I think, I think it went even yeah, higher it, than yeah, that. I don't think one person had the to do that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. And so uh, it would appear almost today, I would say that, place is going to stay like it is until what? some until the guy turns it over to the town for no taxes no paid and yeah, then we're going to get paid to clean it up yeah. yeah yeah it's kind of kind of the way it it looked down there 
So they were smart to pull up, basically, facing those type of odds and we're still to it, do it. The way it sits as right now, we're still progressing with the appeal. Uh, in other words, we've gone this far, we'll let it take its course so that at least that's done on the record if anything comes back later, somebody wants to try or whatever. But now, even though Smith has pulled out the property owner, the property is, owner is trying to move forward, right? Is, well, I don't know if he's going forward, but he hasn't said one one way or the other, but you know, we're working with it. Yeah. Smith has pulled out, but they nobody seems to have paperwork that says he pulled out, even though everybody knows. You know, it's one of those of all people, paperwork will catch up. Of all people that do the work, I mean, they have shown really good stewardship and everything they've done in the town. Yeah. It's a, it's a shame because it would have, would have worked out. But I think we collectively thought that would have been an improvement to the site. Uh, yeah. for, you know, we, and they're good stewards. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's, uh, you know, that's what they've always done. didn't see anybody throw money away, and I think, unfortunately, uh, yeah, he, a lot of he money lost a lot of money there. Yeah. Both sides. Both sides of money. Yeah. Yeah. That's the and still, I mean, it's still out. There's paperwork on the desk here that, that this office has to give to the people that are opposing it. You know, so there's, we still have work to dig out paperwork for them to use if it goes beyond. That's just too bad. No. I would just say um, in the future it would be um, it would be good to know that that sidewalk is happening. Yeah. And I think we should get, you know, the group should get an email. And if we anybody can attend, they should have the ability to attend if they want to. Uh, all right. I, I, it had been scheduled, but I don't know. It was last meeting we was scheduled at that time. Maybe we didn't push it enough. I don't recall the date. Um, yeah. It wasn't in the minutes. I don't know. I, I just, you know, again, just yeah. I think I think it would be interesting. It, again, if people are available, that they can go down and walk it if they care to. And they're actually like found yeah. a bigger tick point. Yeah, you know, it would just be, it, you know, it's, it's again, it's just, I oh, think yeah. it's just a good practice, so we should just uh, make sure that Rachel yeah. sends that out anytime there's a sidewalk. It's actually good good to do that because you can learn from yeah, absolutely. the experience. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's always good. I'd also say there's probably five or six hundred yards of material that's been yeah, put, there. put there. What, what's what's going to happen with that? <laughs> you know? If that material had been pushed into the hole before it was all done, <laughs> And the <laughs> whole thing would not have this discussion. Wouldn't be where it is. Wouldn't be here. Exactly. Yeah. The problem is that the man-made hole. Yeah. They just didn't level off. They did, if they had done some level. cleanup work at the end when they yeah. did, it wouldn't be. Well, yeah. I think they left a dish so it wouldn't seep into wetlands and stuff, and it would just stay in the water. Would you know, well, yeah. filter. So say, it's it's just a big yeah, hole just, in the middle. And yeah. What the federal people are it saying. It's been a sinkhole from decomposition. Yeah. What the federal people are saying even more is. Because the hole is here and there's a hill here, the water's running down this hill into the hole, and when the hole fills up, it runs out the other side, so that's a stream. Maybe we can use this time too, Bob. Just, um, Bob at 7.30, Bob has to take a, to a step up the planning. Do you want to just um, give your take on uh, this canoe club? Just so we uh, yeah. well, yeah, it's, see it from your perspective. I think you just you want to listen to what they have to say. Uh, it's... It must, it's pretty cut and dry, but you know, it's just involving the Rivers Act, the North River people, and all that. And I, they've taken their time, they know what they're doing. I don't know if we can really add anything except uh, you know, we want to be notified, we want to make sure that you know, they aren't disturbing it. But there's a whole lot of other people looking over their shoulders yeah, I was at the same is time. Is this a jurisdictional thing with North South River that we, you know? North River, yeah, the North River people are involved there and, and all. And so is, because it's a dock, so is the dock part of the of the state government is involved okay. because it's a, a dock that falls under the, their permits. So for this to pass muster, from our perspective, they have to have all those other things in yeah. line yeah. in order for us. Yeah, okay. So, so really, we're just yeah, you know, we're, we're looking to make sure that, that making sure that yeah. they have everything okay. in line. Okay. You were here for the last talk, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I was not. not this, you know, I, was, I, I have no comment. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with the North and South River watershed? Mm -hmm. I think no, 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 unless they have all of their other paperwork in order. That's a useless group of people who aren't concerned, and I have nothing to say about it. So. North, North and South River, or the North River, the, whoever the North River Commission is, I have no use for them, so I have nothing to say about this one. Any comments? Okay. Thank you. 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 Th
Kostetan. I think it's real simple, the laws govern what they govern, and things change, and you have to be flexible and move forward. And hopefully they don't find a bigger tick point. What is it? Just you? stop a bulldozer 30 feet from it and everything around it. It's only happened once. Anybody uh, else have anything to go over the discussion? I want to went to Scott and the school took care of some trees for us up at the veterans park that were blown down. So the park looks good for the oh, weekend. Nice. Yeah, I saw the, flag. the flags are out. Yeah, looks good. You don't put the flags in the fence, Mike? Right? He emailed me. They're still stuck in the dirt. He emailed me. He's still stuck in the dirt. He's stuck in the dirt. He's stuck in the dirt. And they won't be in the dirt because they're put in right. He'll be here for the last one, but he's going to go right in the dirt all the time. People put him in and all you get is a couple of days. They go in, they pull them out and break them off. And then it's an end of the. I have another question I'd like to ask you, Matt, to answer it. The flags are three good flags. Yeah, it's a good flags. So I just told him we'd get going. Did you bring a bill in with that? Yeah. Yeah. We got a bill for the Commonwealth flag and the MIA flag. Oh, he said five. He said you you be here at five. He'll be here. Yeah, I saw. Might as well wait for him to be here. Michelle? Yes. I'm Carolyn Murray. Oh, hi. Nice to see you. How are you? Yeah. A little table in there. I put you want to sit up there? Yeah. 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 Ye
must be able to remove it and store it 100 feet from or whatever you can mm -hmm. close to that, which is a lot to move a dock 100 feet. So it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. I don't know why 100 feet, I'm not certain. Yeah. Well, if you live in a flat place, it would make sense. But if you live on a hill, Well, right, I understand that. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes a brook's not a brook, also. Yeah. <coughs> so we have a minute still. Okay. I had, uh, with permission from the board and uh, Bob, I have flagged a pathway through Bicentennial Trail, and I ran into all sorts of key offices and other trails that we're able to match into that were already established trails. Try to make a back door out of uh, the swamp for people coming in the long way, getting out the easy way, yep. and in the easy way for safety reasons. And uh, I had permission by the board to cut on conservation land. I want to make sure I still had that in order to clear just the main road and the deadwood, nothing living, so that it will have access. And uh, I did flag it. I wanted to take a walk before I cut anything with Bob or somebody, okay. to, so I'm not acting alone. And uh, make sure we're all dotting the eyes. It's uh, a lot of kiosks down there. There are absolutely beautiful trails. Bicentennial, it was uh, basically registered, and the town hall burnt down, of course, in '78. So the paperwork, the paperwork went away with it. But I found all the kiosks and all sorts of beautiful uh, stuff that had been there. We could reestablish. The last day I had heard. It. They had made contact with that neighbor oh, nice. to get access, and I believe the neighbor approved the, that access. To leave it where it is? Yeah, yeah, that we could get basically uh, clear of that to the street. Yeah. That was a lot, you know, I don't know if that's officially anywhere, but, right. uh, we to move but forward on. yeah, but that was that was uh, agreed upon by the neighbor from what yeah. I saw here, yeah. It probably works better for everybody. Yeah, I think so. You know? Well, the alternative was going on the other yeah, side. Making a mess and having yeah, yeah. another place. Exactly, another exactly. One, you know? And the ticks are very healthy in there. Oh, goodness. Sure. They're yeah. very healthy in there. They got real deep. <laughs> you guys have must have a problem with ticks just falling out of the trees on you or nothing, no? Nobody's complained about them yet. Well, Good. they say they don't go more than a foot high. You know, yeah, they, they yeah. crawl really fast. I assume they fall out of trees on you too. Well, a lot of times a deer will have them and along a pathway you'll see where there's hair in the tree or rubbing. Mm -hmm. Don't go near that tree because they're more than two feet. They're all on the tree. Yeah. You brush that tree, you're going to have up to 20 ticks in one load you can get. Where they hatch out, come up, and then I'll stay on the beach. hunters oh, yeah. kill a deer and they drag it up and it gets cold. By the time they get out, it's cold and all the ticks come off right at the head of the trail. Huh. And that's nasty when that happens. I haven't had one yet. No ticks at the beach. No ticks at the beach. <laughs> well, thank God for the turkeys. They eat most of them. Oh, good. Turkeys are good things to have. Yeah. We got plenty of them. Real quick, I hit one on a motorcycle during the run. A turkey? It's the lack. And the motorcycle it's stayed upright? Up. Yeah, the guy stayed upright, too. What was the, the run? turkey didn't do well. Uh, the lion's hook okay. for a cancer patient they were doing a run, which is always good. I still do a lot of good eyes and ears. Did you say they weren't out there? I, haven't, I didn't see anybody out there. Them. I checked both ways. So They probably just don't have all their, their stuff and decided not to come. Yeah, I didn't see Merrill out there. Yeah. No. Motion to continue. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a motion to continue. Second. Okay, let's, uh, let's read it and get it on the agenda. You have to have Rachel get a hold of them and see what date work. Because I don't know when I next schedule. Okay, this is a continuance for notice of intent for 45 Canoe Club Lane, Moberg, DEP file number SE056-1012. So the uh, applicant is, uh, is not shown. It's a not shown. So I make a motion to continue to next available meeting. Second. Okay, motion made and seconded to continue to the next available meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, that passes. Uh, I believe 
our next one is at 7.40. Uh, this is 32 Sparrow. I think Bob said this might be another no-show. No-show, yeah. Pool? That was a pool, yeah. I'm going to go upstairs and check out Bobby's presentation there. This is one of those where it's a, it's a very challenged lot. And yep. it, you know, he said he, if they can if they can fit it in, he doesn't have a problem with them doing it. But barrel shop because everything everything goes to water. Yeah. In the end, most things do. I didn't even get the call to install the metal one we had agreed to, so I'm out of it. Is that up at the bottom? Up at the uh, oh, okay. second, up at the run from yeah. Furnace Lane into Oldham, or actually oh, Furnace Lane to the box. box. So they're, they're, not here, they're not getting into the box. No, they're not getting into the box. We've had to move on it just to get it done. They're already in. That's the warmest water that comes into the system, and that's exactly where they're going to put their nose. So rather than deal with them upriver in the box. Cut them off. So they're already heading heading back. back yeah, the back. first group yeah. is heading back. We had an early group two weeks before the rest, and we're yeah. still anticipating being like Polter County. We've got about another fifty thousand fish come up after, and we usually get a third run in the end, at least another fifty thousand. So what are you up to now? Do you think uh, um, count? almost? I I have to guess, but close to four hundred thousand. We still have that second, the third one to come in. The bass are going to be uh, oh, well fed this batting. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a 12 pound bass herding herring into the reeds and smash them at 2.30 in the morning. Which part? Right at the boat ramp at Route 14. Okay. Where the old pump out used to be. Smashing these herring, eating full size herring. It's 15 minutes of chaos yeah. and it's just all calm again. It's yeah. like taking a basketball and throwing it in the water as hot as you could every time this thing came up. Just wait, you know, where it goes from uh, un under 14 yep. into the barber shop. Yeah, so you know, when you go across the street, then there's Park a little out. channel yep. that goes into the pond. Oh, yeah. I was there one day and I, I, I just walked close to that channel and Three different spots. They bash. Man, they think they were just yeah. slamming. Oh, like I scared them. I, I was like, I got. I was, you know, it's not Yeah, yeah. No, it was huge. Somebody, it was a splash in the room. The humans in there making a lot of noise. I, I couldn't believe the size of them. Yeah. This was a good twelve-pound bass. It was eating a full-size herring like anchovies. Yeah. It was smashing, pushing them right up into the reeds. What about at the fish ladder? Um, where? where the um, herring can exit the furnace pond. Is that Cranberry Road? Yeah, Cranberry Gore Mill Pond. Is there yeah. like a, what's the apparatus that looks like a floating? That's to stop the, the, the debris from going into, into the ladder. Coming into the ladder. Yeah. And then there's an extension on the ladder now. Yes, finally. Okay, so that's we a permanent? Right, well, we had a thing that came down straight in the middle. And if you put your finger on it, you could feel the herring smashing it. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You know? And so. The state decided to re engineer that little thing. Okay. Good news of that. What is it? Yeah, let's go down. We haven't really no, seen the well. need for it, that it should be done. And, uh, and just mean? take a part of a ball and start to run with it and then see what it's going to cost and then, then let everyone yeah, figure where the money will come starts with it. We'll be back up there in a month and we want to after again. Not to leave Bob out. Um, I did the walk down Bicentennial Trail and uh, flagged all of the actual trees are 15 of them on the main road. And then I found Cheopses from the old Bicentennial Trail off to the right. I was able to go in and you could almost read some of them. But they go extensively down into the right, over halfway to the wetland line yeah. down. So I flagged everything. I'd like somebody to walk it. And I have plenty of repellent. Give you a can. Yeah, well. Plenty of deer tick repellent. You had got approval from that use? neighbor. Yep. Uh, yeah. I just use regular off. I don't like, like I, I have deep, but that's only for clothing. Yeah. You're not put that on. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. The last three days I've been getting ticks. Uh, 
too. Yeah. Big tick, not a day tick. Five big ones. I don't trust any tick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what it is, it's a tick. You'd probably rather see the big one than the deer tick, right? I, yeah. Do, yeah. I don't want to see none of them on. No, I don't want to see any of them, but I mean, yeah, yeah. big enough. Yeah. You can see them at least. Yeah. And I'm not sure where I'm getting them because I haven't been deep. I haven't been deep in the woods at all. Do you just come out and stand on the edge, yeah. as you know, and you'll rub against the tree yeah. or something, or they'll just, or if somebody during hunting season kills a deer, you pull it out, they all fall off right at the head of the trail. And yeah, the trail was bad. Okay. But um, I went in and found the trail, flagged it, so if you want to take a walk, then just follow the green flags. 32 Sparrow? Yes. Okay, great. Awesome. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Are you guys ready for me now? We, uh, yep. we are. Can we start two minutes early, or do we have to wait until? There's no, uh, there's no public, uh, no Don't see anybody right else. Here. Okay, great. All right, uh, first of all, sir, would you um, just sign that sheet, um, sure. if you would? Okay, uh, it is uh, 7.38 p.m. Uh, notice in the tent for 32 Sparrow Lane, Mr. Skinner. Still, still not working. We do one. Nobody show that one. No show. We no show. 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 We had that we had that discussion already and followed it. Yeah. So we just figured yep. the rates of the reschedule and she yep. said. Okay. That's good. <coughs> so kind of stoned it. That's Mr. Yeah. Smith. We'll never look back. It's a great operation. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, that's that's good. Good. The only yeah. one person who told the following years was all right we are ready for you sir okay so just uh, please introduce yourself and tell us about your project. Yeah, my name is Darren Grady. I'm with Grady Consulting. I'm here on behalf of uh, oh, thanks. <coughs> Jennifer and Ian Skinner. Uh, the project we're here tonight is a pool on Sparrow Lane, like put in the backyard. We have wetlands numbered 1 through 13 here. Uh, they're proposing to just take down some trees in this area, uh, a retaining wall back here, the pool's going to be raised and put in a approximately 34 by 16 um, swimming pool. Uh, they're proposing a silt sack, shown in red, also the little more. What? A silt sack? Silt sack, okay. Silt sack. Silt sack. Uh, it's shown here as far as the uh, sack filled with mulch. I mean, wood chips on the open side, even. Yep. Uh, and that's about it. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Just here. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> so um, the limit of work is set at 10 feet from the wetlands, and the corner of the deck for the pool is 15 feet. Uh, obviously, the stone wall will be right around. It'll be at 10. Or right. the rest of it. Where will the filter be uh, backwashed and all that stuff? Uh, I'm proposing a dry well uh, here for them to connect to. This is a tough lot, and that's about the only place on it. The lot is high. You know, I'm not saying the elevations here, but uh, it's probably that eight feet, six feet, eight feet on the, the pool will be sitting above the, the low area. What's the height of the wall? Um, so the height of the wall is, <clears throat> it varies from top of, the top's going to be set at 115, the bottom's around 112, so it's around 3 feet. And the pool is at that level as well? Yes. Is the contractor doing the pool? You know, I don't know that. Well, I think it might be sealant. I don't know. Do you want a pool? Sure. Maybe. Really? He did the house. I know we talked to him. Yeah. She talked to him. Maybe doing the excavation work. Yeah. Um, the pool itself is um, swim sports. The duck for pool. How was that? What is the depth of the pool, Medeva? Um, the pool is not deep, I think. Uh, maybe, yeah. 
The, these people have been good to work with over the last two years trying to get the pool in and get some yacht, yacht around the house. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, in this area, there are no, uh, a lot of these houses are that way. There's just no the houses there and and there's nothing else in the yard and you, these younger people are looking you know, for a Yeah, right. buy, a, buy a house yeah. and then there's two kids and now we need a little bit of yard or something else and so we've been working with them. Uh, the wetlands are there as long as they protect the wetland that's uh, you know, yeah. that's a big thing. Where's Barrowley? No. Uh, where is that Barrowley? Up off the valley. Off the valley and forest. Bird Hill. The Sealand Project in that way. Used to be the blogs for uh, Forest Emory. Forest Emory and all. Uh, 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 I do not. I do not. I just a tree line in here. It's probably about 10 feet in the widest part. No, it is somewhat dense. Would this be the one of those cases where if we let cut the trees down, they should be we should be asking for some I've type already, of donation? Yeah, I've already been up there. The only trees that you know, uh, what else it, you for the pool itself are is six or eight of this size oh, right so around the, the pool. So there were some bigger trees, but they were taken down as dangerous so on the other side. They were no. So yes, it would have been, but we don't. We weren't. Okay. We weren't quick enough to put that that in yet. Just and so you. You can bring it back to the office that the board is considering every time we, a tree is taken down on a project that the people will either plant three trees or put a certain amount of money into the conservation tree fund where the conservation people will have trees planted around town. Okay, and that's inside the buffer zone? Yeah, anything that's inside the, the buffer zone, anything in our jurisdiction. Okay. That would be a good example where plant, replanting trees would yeah. be feasible in right. a small lot like that. Yeah. Right. That's a yeah. perfect example of yeah. when that would right. Yeah, when it would come in, right, because they don't, they, they don't need any more. Yeah, she had some bigger trees on the side, but they were such that they could come to the house and I had given her permission to oh, no. take the trees down. We were, even before the development was accepted, we were out there during one windstorm. It wasn't even the town's responsibility. We were out there opening the roads up because they got closed in in a couple of areas. Yeah. Uh, move we close. Second. Okay, the uh, motion has been made and seconded to close discussion. All those in favor? Aye. All right. All those opposed? Okay. The move we build in accordance with plan with a normal boilerplate and uh, notification of when the work is being done so we can do it. And a special note that we want to make sure they watch that shot area over there. Well, they, they need to notify you when they install yeah. the salt sock anyhow, right? Correct. Yeah. And is that a 12-inch salt sock? Because I'm pretty sure that's what we voted to go yeah. to was 12s. I think that's a 12-inch. Top right and top left. Yes, 12-inch. Right. Hopefully they get their pool so they can enjoy it this year. Yeah, so you know uh, when the water might sure. be issued? Hold on a second. Motion's minutes. been made, but it hasn't been seconded. Second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded to uh, issue the boil plate for for uh, 32 Sparrow. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. The, uh, the building permit for the pool is in this office. Okay. Uh, it can be signed, but any work that's done on it is at their own discretion because we have a 10 day period that somebody could. No. Right. I'm just towards, so. trying to give them the schedule. I was telling them they, uh, you got to get 21 days to issue the order yeah. and then 10 day appeal it's, period. And I know got, July 4th is coming. They said the permits here are ready to, to go as long as they understand that if somebody says something, then it's there. You know, we have, we have to go back to it. Perfect. And it's there for all. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, you guys have you. a good night. Thumb you too. Good swim. <laughs> thank you. All right, well, that concludes our business for this evening. Well, I like to move it. We close. Motion is Second. made to close and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? We are closed. Okay, we're closed. Now, you, did you, with me, uh, did you, did you know about our tree thing? It was yes. in the minutes. Well, we figured that was a way to, in lots like this, that we can, and we can, 
then build up our tree account so that we have more money to you know spend to plant trees around them. The town's responsible for that stuff too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you might have trouble trying to collect from the town. Nope. Yeah. They're not. We take everything down as public safety. We can take anything we need under public safety. Oh, yeah, but wouldn't you want to plant, replant trees somewhere? We don't have enough money in that tree fund to replant anything. We don't. No. We don't. DPW no. doesn't. Yeah. We, <coughs> we have. We've break, pretty much got the approval of everybody upstairs to do it this way. Too. Okay, now this is mm. order, so nobody's going to yeah. have that. We, we, we don't say they have to put money into the account. They can make a donation to the account. We, and our, our uh, accounts are such that donations are accepted. Yeah. We do it like we, if somebody hits a tree and the tree is damaged and they have to remove it. We, we work with Botla Consolidated, and they'll actually go to Wyman's and set us up, you know, whatever the tree value was. Okay. They'll set us up a credit over to Wyman's so we can go purchase something. Okay. Yeah, it works out pretty good. Yeah. Stuff that you can order through them or just what they have in stock? You usually just, it's usually we just grab a tree that's in stock, you know. But, uh, we, have, we have ordered stuff, I think, um, uh, through Mr. Huzzy. Through his uh, oh, yeah. place, we've ordered we've ordered stuff through him. Talk about pine, pine, pine metal, pine metal, pine metal. deer and, metal. And yes. then we've um, we've also I think ordered stuff through the conifer connection over here. Yeah. Yeah. But general people's general information at Veterans Memorial Park, the big uh, green evergreen tree that's decorated at Christmas is a Mr. Hussey tree. He donated that tree. How many, how many years ago? Maybe 20. Yeah, it's a, a, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty mature yeah. tree, yeah. That's a beautiful tree. Yeah, it was when we first were redoing, yeah. doing the pack over and wanted to do it. And he had said he donated a tree and then we decided what we wanted and he kind of hesitated because he hadn't planned to give us yeah. quite a, as big a, <laughs> a tree as what we wanted. He, he used to donate um, a tree for Arbor Day every year. Massey's donated a tree for Abbey Day and Fox Run, when they were in business, used to donate a tree. And we'd plant one tree in each school. And we always planted with a first grade class so they could watch that tree grow for six years. When they redid the school, they wiped them all up. The whole bucket. Yep. Yeah. Everett would have rolled over in his grave. Because they were big. That was Everett's big push every year. Wow. We went and, we, and it, was a, it was a big thing. We all got together, the tree department went out, planted the trees with the kids. And uh, yeah, when they redid the schools, Apparently nobody uh, nobody jumped on board to talk to Everett and they uh, put them all up. Everett would roll over. No question. Oh. The uh, trees we got were great clubs. Uh, that the bought twelve for We uh, were able to plant basically in an hour and a half, two hundred and fifty trees. Uh, they're beautiful plugs. They just going really nice and that environment was just the water was just right for them to be wet, not too wet, just right at the right level. And uh, it worked out really well. People want to come back and plant more trees. And, uh, so how, how tall are those? They're, with the containers, about 12, 14 inches. The trees themselves anywhere from 8 to 12 inches. Very healthy, so not that, root bound. So that's why the in plant plugs, is so fast. Yeah, you just take a, yeah. make a hole, put them in, and heal them in. Yeah. And uh, the kids had no problem doing it, which was great. The kids with the parents would go out and do their little things. And yeah. Well, that, that thank you letter was more like a thank you complaint letter. Well, <laughs> well it was, they wanted to plant the more trees. I had the to way kind of ration them out. I didn't know how many were coming. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. then uh, we have certain vets that come and plant trees. And uh, there's, a, there's one little section that it's for a member that was taken in the war. And they came and planted some trees and had it to their little forest, and the forest of things. But like I said, the habitat is uh, appreciating the trees. The birds were sitting high in them and having a great time. Now you don't Red have and blackbirds showed the up. You have birds so sitting in those <laughs> trees. This no, the other trees. Oh, the other trees. Okay, so we have we got some these fifteen trees. foot trees. Okay, okay, I was going to say that. Sounded, and they've grown odd to me. The trees we did plant have grown double in size. Okay, They're amazing. Pretty good success rate. Yep. The birds take the tops of them and all cackle and then nest in the groupings of them. 
three-year nest to stack on top of each other, so it's a good three years to come back 